Over the past 24 hours, we have seen some of the worst hypocrisy in history. And that's saying something these days because there's a lot of hypocrisy to go around. You might have heard that the PGA, the Professional Golf Association Tour, is merging with Live Golf. That's the Saudi-backed professional golf tour. Take, for example, Chris Murphy, senator of Connecticut. He explained to Morgan Schallenfand of Semaphore, this deal is about way more than golf. And there's hundreds of millions of dollars that have gone into this, probably billions, actually. It's part of Saudi Arabia's ongoing campaign to pay celebrities and cultural institutions to help erase its record of human rights abuses, having a brutal foreign dictatorship that beheads its political opponents as the new owner of a major American sports league sends a chilling message about the degrading statue of morals and values in our society. Money is king now, and we are poorer for it. We really can't get into Senator Murphy's head. We invited him on the program. He's welcome anytime. But it's amazing how everybody suddenly now cares about human rights when it involves the Saudis. China is carrying on the largest genocide since the Nazis. On the left, you see Uyghur Muslims being taken to re-education camps, just like we saw millions of Jews loaded on the trains to the concentration camps. It's hard to tell which is which. Apple has invested $275 billion in China since 2016 and helped the Chinese government surveil and control its citizens, help crack down. Nike earned $7.5 billion in China last year alone, all while lecturing America about human rights. Tesla spent $2 billion to build a factory in Shanghai, while Elon Musk loves to talk about free speech. The NBA caved to Chinese pressure over Hong Kong, while people there were fighting for basic freedoms. Where was Senator Murphy and the anti-Saudi human rights crusaders during all of that? As I said, some of the worst hypocrisy we've seen. The Saudis are bad and must be stopped, but the Chinese, well, that, that's a little more complicated. Joining us now, Johanna Mosca, CEO of the Global Situation Room, served as President Obama's White House Director of Press Advance, News Nation political contributor. Good to see you. We appreciate it. Uh, Johanna, am I on to something here? Look, I think we shouldn't have hypocrisy when it comes to Saudi or China. They are both violating human rights. And we didn't fight for these freedoms and our freedom of speech to be silent about this situation. And I think what you're seeing is Saudi is just now in the news because of the merger, because of this um, uh, most recent uh, situation. And last night, actually, Chris Christie brought up Saudi because he talked about the $2 billion investment that went into the Kushner's firm from Saudi. And so it's just, I think, probably the flavor of the day. But look, like Saudi killed a journalist in a consulate. They picked a consulate to kill and dismember. Yeah, no, I look, I, I understand. Journalist. I understand that. I, I agree I, I mean, with look, you. Joe, on Joe, I, understand, I understand the Jamal Khashoggi thing, okay? And I get the people, yeah. especially journalists, love to talk about the killing of a journalist. Is it wrong? Yes. Okay, there's a lot of other U.S. allies who are involved in a lot of other unsavory savory behavior, okay? It's very can different than the, 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 the systematic. Killed? Oh, but can you imagine China, if China killed a journalist in a consulate? China, China, Somewhere, China doesn't even I mean, have. Wait, hold on. China doesn't even have journalists. Okay, this wasn't an American yeah, well, citizen. They're holding American citizens right now. They held Canadians as political prisoners uh, in, for, for years because of U.S. crackdowns. I mean, we, we, at some point, though, and I say this advisingly, okay, you got your friends and you got your enemies. Uh, the Saudis have yeah. certainly done a lot more to help U.S. national security overall than the Chinese have. The, the Saudis are not trying to, at least they weren't until the Biden administration, trying to challenge uh, the United States on the global stage. They were really a, a great ally to the United States. Okay, they well, were a counterweight. To, they were a counterweight to Iran. I'm just wondering why it's so easy to vilify Saudi, and everybody can't wait to jump on that bandwagon. But the, the Chinese, well, they, you know, then it's complicated. I mean, I, I, the first time I went to Saudi, Leland, it was very visible to me, the discrimination, women can't drive. So, uh, you know, I, I remember uh, very clearly, like at the time, uh, we were saying, you know, you can't, you can't drive. There was a women's section, and then there was a, fa or a family section, and then there was a men's section. Um, you know, I think that there's reasons why we should uh, worry about both. 
because you're absolutely right that China is committing genocide, that there are problems in China, and we oh. don't have these freedoms to stay silent. We should use them on both. And to what extent are we willing to sell our souls? Like, when, when does the University of Kansas get a Saudi or Chinese investment? Like, I don't want either. In, in terms of our sports. And so I, I actually do think this is troubling because as other things could be next, tennis could be next, we'll see. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.